MGF Gripshaw is a range of lightweight, manhandleable GRP shoring products, ideal for use in the utility sector when either hand digging or using a mini excavator. All the products can be installed and extracted by hand and do not require lifting or handling by an excavator. Gripshaw sheets and whalers are easy to assemble, two-sided hydraulic bracing systems. Designed to support trenches up to two meters deep with widths ranging from 620 to 1450 millimeters. The system can be installed side by side for trenches of any length. Gripshaw sheets and whalers can generally be collected or delivered direct to site within 24 hours. Please contact MGF for free advice on whether the product is suitable and if a design is required. MGF can provide a complimentary design service for customers submitting a completed MGF design request form. The product is installed using the dig and undermine technique and is therefore only suitable for use in trenches whose vertical sides are generally stable and self-supporting in the short term. one6 meter whalers have a working area between the struts of 1060 millimeters, each assembled frame weighing approximately 30 kilograms. 2.1 meter whalers have a working area between the struts of 1560 millimeters, each assembled frame weighs approximately 35 kilograms. Installation commences by digging a trench up to 1000 millimeters deep. This can be done by hand, or if available, a micro or mini excavator can be used. Batter dens are preferable to allow easy access. Commence assembly of two frames by laying the whaler rails on timber skids a safe distance away from the excavation. For certain ground conditions, a third frame may be required. Two hydraulic struts are slotted into the first rail and locked into position using pins and arc clips. Struts are positioned in the outermost three hull groups approximately 250 millimeters from the end of the whalers. The end of the hydraulic strut for the valve block is secured with a single pin. The strut ends must bear flat on the inside face of the whaler. The second rail is then placed over the other end of the struts. The opposite end is pinned through both remaining holes. When positioned correctly, the ends of both whalers will be flush. Both frames should be pumped out so it is only slightly smaller than the sheet to sheet dimension. This safe system of work will focus on the works being completed by hand. Alternatively, the systems can be installed and extracted using a suitable mini excavator and suitably rated lifting ancillaries. Lower both frames into the trench. Pitch the four corner sheets by hand. Throughout the whole installation, each time that the sheets are driven, attempt to slightly tow in if the ground allows. The sheets may need to be secured laterally, either by packing behind the sheets using hardwood timber or by physically holding the sheet. With the four corner sheets in place, connect the hydraulic hoses to the bottom frame via the supply two-way bridle ensuring that the hose and the bucket pump do not obstruct the installation. The hose fitting will connect to the quick release valves on each cylinder. Sheets should be in continuous contact with the trench wall. It is critical that any voids directly behind the hydraulic struts are packed out with timber or similar strength material to ensure that the ground is suitably preloaded. Using the MGF bucket pump provided, move the flow regulator switch forward pump out the bottom frame to full preload. When the system is pressurised, the valve on the single acting bucket pump is one way and should remain in forward position to lock and pressurise the hydraulic strut between 400 and 750 psi. The pressure gauge must hold at pressure and not indicate any loss in pressure. 
Struts are fitted with a safety bleed off valve to prevent overextension. If hydraulic fluid is visible, then the strut is too short and either a longer strut is required or the width of the trench needs reducing. Hydraulic fluid is water soluble and biodegradable. Once the bottom frame is pressurised, the hoses can be removed from the struts. Raise the top frame to the required level as per design data and repeat the pump out process. With the ground preloaded, excavate down to 1.5 metres below ground level. If the ends of the trench are not battered, choose a suitable ladder location and drive a 1.5 metre sheet down flush with ground level. The remaining sheets can be pitched between the whaler frames and the face of the excavation. If a blockage is found, do not force the GRP sheets. It is safe to enter the excavation and clean up the trench walls with a spade to remove the blockage. If moderate impact is required to the top of the sheets, ensure that the end is protected with suitably thick hardwood. To assist driving and extracting sheets, individual hydraulic struts can be depressurised one strut at a time. It is important that no operatives are within the trench during this operation. If the ends of the trench are to remain open, then it is important to ensure that the face of the ground is stable and no loose materials will fall into the trench. If there is any doubt, then it is recommended to use end safe struts and sheets. Push down corner sheets to 1.5 meters depth. If hanging chains are being used, operatives should connect them now by attaching the shackles to the whaler lift points. The hook simply hangs off the top of the sheet. Ensure to adjust the chains so the frames sit at the specified levels. Ensure that the final position of the sheets and frames sit square and vertical against both faces of the excavation with continuous vertical contact on the exposed trench faces. Realign and pack out if necessary. For 1.5 meter dig depths, installation is now complete and the excavation is safe to enter. For 2 meter dig depths, chains should now be attached to the lower frame. Exit the excavation and release pressure from the lower frame only, dropping down carefully to the trench floor. Re-enter the excavation and dig down to 2 meters depth. Push the sheets down until flush with ground level. If required, the sheets at the ladder access point can now be replaced with 2 meter sheets. For longer trenches, this process can be repeated. Inspect the full installation, ensuring that there is no evidence of instability along the unsupported faces and edges. Ensure final position of frames sits square and panels are vertical against both faces of the excavation with continuous contact on the exposed trench faces. Realign and pack out if necessary. It is now safe to enter the excavation. When inside the trench, operatives should continually monitor the walls for change of conditions, such as water seepage, excessive movement or cracks. It is recommended to use MGF WalkSafe and Crossing Safe to provide temporary hand railing and safe passage across the trench. Sheets and whalers are removed in a continuous backfill and lifting sequence. For 2 meter depths, backfill and compact ground to 1.5 meters depth. Raise each panel by 500 millimeters, backfilling under each panel as necessary. Connect lifting chains to the bottom frame and exit the excavation. Depressurize the frame and lift out of the excavation. Backfill and compact in suitable layers to the underside of the top frame. Depressurize the top frame and remove each panel. Remove the top frame from the excavation. The trench can now be backfilled and ground reinstated. Frames can now be disassembled. Place the frame on timber skids. Take out all the R clips and pins and remove the hydraulic rams. Reattach the bucket pump to the hydraulic struts and release any fluid back into the bucket. 
Before collection, remove any loose dirt and contaminants. Equipment can now be returned to MGF.